I'm delighted to be joined by today's sponsors man of the match, Sean Donnelly. Sean, congratulations. Thank you very much. That's only, what, third game and you've got a man of the match in the bag already? Uh, I don't know about that, but um, yeah, the team are brilliant today. So yeah, it's not about me, it's about the team. I think probably the most obvious place to start is with your head. How's oh, your head? Uh, my head's alright, it's only a little graze. I'm sure I'll be alright. Um, I've got a photo of the incident which looks like it was his hand that caught you rather than hand. anything else. Yeah, I mean, a still photo doesn't really prove yeah, anything. No, it was an album. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it was his hand. We'll have to wait for the video. But, yeah. But uh, you were quickly dealt with, but then you had a long length of bandage trailing away from your head for quite a while. Yeah, I know, we, just, we can get it sex, there's uh, so much sweat. So, uh, oh, at half time they saw it, they've done it properly. Right. Um, as a player, you just want to rush back on, so I was like, come on, hurry up, put pressure on the physio, but their plates have really done a good job. And uh, there is a little tiny bit of blood on the, on the bandage I can see here oh. now, but do you know how big the cut is? No, it's only a little. It's only a little. Good, okay. Um, why do you think you got man of the match? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd done, like, done alright, I'm a team player, I work hard, but I thought all the boys done brilliant today. Yeah. Everyone, everyone put a shift in. It could have been any of us out there. So, um, as I said again, it's not about me, it's about the team. And I'm just more happy about the three points. Do you think there might be a clue, perhaps, in the number of headers that you won? Yeah, it's, it's a strong part of my game. Um, I thought Tuesday night, Tuesday night I let myself down um, in my performance. So I needed to give the fans and my teammates a reaction. And I think I've done that today. Yeah. Um, I, I, I... I can't think of a midfield player who's won as many headers in three games as you have <laughs> since I've been coming here. Uh, you say it's a strong part of your game, yeah. um, but are you playing particularly deep so you're getting them before the centre backs get a chance? Um, I think obviously I used to play centre, I've played a lot of yeah. centre half, yeah. so I'm naturally quite good at heading. Um, if I can help them out in little ways and they can drop off and not do the header, that helps them out. But um, I think it's more about positional play if you're. If you read the game well, you can get to things, don't matter how big you are. If you can get to the ball before the opponent, um, yeah, that's what the game's all about. How was the wind? To be fair, it only, um, only happened at times during the game. I didn't feel it was too bad. I felt, at the start of the second half, it pushed us all the way back and we were under the cosh a lot. Um, it seemed to die away yeah, when, the, when, when, when the weather improved. That's what I mean, yeah. yeah when yeah. the sun came out, the wind died off, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it felt like just at spells. And when the wind did go, it was helping them in the second half, so we yeah. naturally just went a bit deeper because from goal kicks, the ball would fall, fall deeper. So no, the team really done well dug, dug in. It's a subject I discussed with Dowse in his Friday catch-up yesterday, and, and a point he made was that you it's a good idea to play with the wind first because it may die away and, and negate the other side's advantage yeah, in the yeah. second half and that is absolutely what happened today. Yeah, no, you've got to play the conditions, fair play to Casey getting the, getting the toss. So, um, get yeah, he, he has told me, yeah. and I quote, I'm very good at winning the toss. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you acquire that skill, no, no, but he yeah. claims to have it. He's an accountant, isn't he? Oh, that's yeah, true, yeah. yes. Oh, good point. Money and numbers yeah, exactly. are the perfect combination, yes. Um, Chesterfield on Tuesday. Chesterfield were the bookies and a lot of other people's favourites um, ten, eight days ago before the league started. They haven't started as, as well as people thought they would. No, look, it's early days. Um, we're not really thinking about them. We've started well. I think we've played well apart from one half against Aldershot. Um, so um, we go again Tuesday. We, teams won't want to play against us. Put it that way. So. We'll be, we'll, I think we can cause any team problems on our day. We just got to make sure we're ahead. And uh, that will be the fourth game in what nine days or ten days. Yeah. Everyone okay? Yeah. Touch wood, no injuries. Um, I think there's a few more coming in, so that'll help us as a, as a team, as a squad. And, um, yeah, no. As a team, as a squad, we're good. It's not about the level on the pitch. It's about the subs and what they've done when they come on. So brilliant. Done brilliant. Yeah, absolutely right. Final question, I'm going to ask this to everybody this year. Who would you have given Man of the Match to? Rossi today. Rossi? Well, Rossi was different, but he got us out of trouble so many times. And I thought he was brilliant. I hope he feel like I deserved Man of the Match. Um, so yeah, and I thought Rossi was... Well, he, he certainly um, cleared the ball from free kicks and corners about nearly as many times as you headed it, I think. So. Yeah, no, I thought he was brilliant today. Yeah. Than anyone, but it's fine margins, isn't it? It's just yeah. what people see, and 
different variables. Okay, brilliant. Thanks very much for your time. Congratulations again on winning man of the match. See you on Tuesday. Cheers.